Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week and I was thinking this morning, I'm so sorry I was Debbie Downer yesterday. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it was and I figured if I didn't tell you guys what was wrong with me, you would know because I am easy to read and so many of you are so in tune with me that you would have known something was wrong with me. But I did check when I dropped off Will this morning and both boys, there was two bo little boys in the car that were at Will's school. Both of them were at school today. Nobody was hurt. She said the mom was really shook up. But she said, you know, thank God for airbags and seat belts. So thank you for, you know, humoring me. So today I have some makeup that I got from, I got a few things from Ulta, and then I ordered a few things from Sephora, and then I have two pair of shoes that I've actually had for about two weeks, and I just wasn't sure if I was going to keep them or not, but I think I am. I think I decided they're worth it. So, oh, and I wanted to, I thought about this this morning. I have so many people ask me which Sigma brush I use for my Laura Mercier Loose Minerals, and it is the Sigma Large Powder F. 30 and I brought this out so I could remember to order another one because I have to have it and it gets dirty and I hate to wash it because I'm scared it won't be ready by the next morning so I'm going to order another one but it's just the perfect like density and what I do is I just I actually use it kind of to crush up the minerals and I just dot it on like that and then I buff it and I just love it so that is one of my favorite brushes Okay, and speaking of brushes, this is one that I bought from Sephora. I have the larger version. It's the Makeup Forever Duo Fiber. Let's see. This one's called the 148 Straight and Wavy. And I have the larger one, and I just love it. I use it so much for highlighters, for very pigmented blushes, anything that I'm kind of scared of. <laughs> I use that brush, and this one... It's just smaller, and I was hoping it would be good for when I want to use an, a highlighter or like the Burberry, Burberry, and the, what is that other blush that's, is it the Tom Ford blush? Is that the other one that I use that's so pigmented? Any of them that are just really pigmented like that, I wanted this to be able to use it. And then I bought, I guess like three, crazy, three highlighters from Sephora. These are the three things. This is all I bought. I bought another Ritual. And I have two of them. But you guys kept saying, Lisa, did you see they're back? And I kept thinking, well, I've got a backup and I've got two of them. But they're all so different. One of mine is really pink. One of mine is really brown. And then, so I, saw, I thought, well, I'm just going to order one more and see how it goes. And I can always sell it or, you know, just keep it or whatever. So when it came yesterday, I was so excited to look. And it's just perfect. It's got a lot of brown. My other one has way, way more pink than that. And it doesn't have a lot of dark brown. My other one had a little bit more dark brown. So I feel like it's just perfect. And that is what I used today to... Well, first I used the Burberry, uh, their bronzer. I can't remember. I'll put everything I'm wearing down below, of course. And then I put a little bit of this over it. And I was very careful because I haven't used it yet. But I used the MAC 138 or 136. It's the dome brush. That's what I've always liked to use with this. But you do have to be careful with this ritual. When you get it, I've never really been able to use it like all over my face. I had to, I've always had to use it like you would a bronzer, but you can't get carried away because it can get muddy, it can get too sparkly, or it can get too pink. You just have to, it probably varies, you know, from ritual to ritual, and just, you know, experiment with it. But when you figure out what brush to use with it and how to get it just right, there's just nothing like it. It's just a beautiful blush bronzer. And a lot of days I will use a bigger brush and just decide that's all I'm going to use for bronzer, blush, and highlight. And just do my whole cheek in it, and it's so Okay, pretty. and then so many of you have told me that you loved this. My friend Lori told me a couple weeks ago that she really loved it. And then I kept seeing it on Instagram. And I'm not the biggest highlighter person. A lot of times I love them. I love the way they look on other people. 
I like them, you know, at first when I get them, but then I go back to just where I'd rather have just a glow from my foundation. And, but this one, I just had to try it. It's the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and I love this thing. This morning, I didn't really know what to expect. I got the number one, but if you are someone who is kind of scared of a highlighter this is a good one i've got it on and as you can see it's not it did not make my skin like the candlelight and what are all those other ones that all the nars a lot of those can just get the merry luminizer um the only other one that i can say that is a lot like this is i've always loved that Lorac. oh i can't i can't believe i can't think of it right now but i'll put the name down here that one is a lot like this. It's not very shimmery. It just gives you a really good glow, so much that I even kind of brought it in under my eyes a little bit to just give a little bit more glow over here. I really like it. And then I got really brave and I used a little of that in the, you know, kind of further back on my cheeks to contour. So no regrets on that. So then several of you told me that the limited edition face illuminator powder that was out now called Indiscretion from Laura Mercier was a good one. So while I was ordering on Sephora, I went ahead and ordered this. And you know, my um, as soon as I opened it, my little case, right, oh, that's why I didn't see that up there. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better because I was going to tell you my case broke. <laughs> And I looked for that, but it must have been stuck up there perfectly. And so I grabbed this. And I don't even want to hardly touch this thing, but this would be something I would probably use this with. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. It looks pretty. I'm going to be just illuminated today. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I have on, I'm kind of scared. Can you tell? Let's see. I don't know if you can see, but so I will let you know, you know, I have, I just got them yesterday. So I, of course I haven't tried everything, but gosh, that's so pretty right off the bat. It reminds me of the one that Lori gave me from Bobby Brown, the gold one. And I really like that because it's kind of like a creamy powder. And, um, so I, I'm glad I got it. I will see how that goes. And I think I'm going to love this brush. Okay. Then Two things that I got at Ulta. I got this lip liner. I haven't tried it yet. It is the Essence Wish Me a Rose lip liner. And my friend Elizabeth had picked up this one. And she picked up a, one that was a little bit more of a brown color. But I have so many like that. That, and I'm, you know, I've told you I've been kind of into the pinks lately. So I grabbed this and I have not even swatched it or looked at it. But it looks like it's going to be a good pink color. She loves it. Here, I'll swatch it. It is pretty. It's a good mid-tone pink, good nudie pink. So that would look good with all of our, you know, nudie pink colors, like that one yesterday, the Tom Ford Flynn. That would probably go good with that. And um, so, and I think it was like a dollar thirty-nine or something. And then this, one of you guys told me about this, and you said that you had heard that Rosie Huntington Whiteley used this, and I looked for it a couple of times but it seems like every time i looked for it the seal was broken where i guess people have been i don't know if they've really been testing it or what and then i kind of forgot about it and then i watched monica blunder's rosie huntington whiteley look that she did the last time i can't remember what function it was for but monica was saying this is what she used and it's the revlon color burst lacquer balm in I think it's ingenue it's 145 and i believe it's ingenue and it is so pretty it is definitely one of those type colors but i love the way it's glossy and this is just like something perfect to throw in your purse because as soon as i got it i think i had already eaten lunch and i'm Usually, once I eat lunch, I don't reapply anything major. Like, I'll put on, I have MAC Per gloss in my car. Like, I'll put that on or, you know, something like this on. Because usually what I'm doing is just going to get Will and coming home. So, that's what I did that day is I put this on and it was so pretty. It was a very, very natural but really full look and just the perfect amount of gloss. So, I would recommend that. And, you know, I love the matte balms. I think they're beautiful. 
And then this is something I got last week and I forgot to show you. It is uh, Sherry Curry had recommended this. It is the Sheer Obsessed from Urban Decay. And at first when I got it, I thought, you know, I shouldn't have gotten that because I've got a million things like this. And I probably still do. But it is so pretty. And I'm going to put it right beside this pink from Essence. That would make a pretty lip, wouldn't it? But what I've been using this for, I don't know. I might have used it on its own that day that I got it. But what I've been using it for is to go over other things. Like if I have something that I think is too brown or too dark or bright pink, I've been going over it with this because it's glossy and it's sheer. And um, I've really been liking it. I think she uses it, Sherry uses it over Lancome. What is that one that we all like? Oh, when I start talking to you guys, just like all my names just fly out of my head and you know I know them. Is that it? And then I've already told you guys about this, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. I just don't like it as much. It's not that I don't like it, but I think if I had never tried the original one and I tried this, I would just be like, eh. Like if I got a sample, I don't think I would go back and get it. But the original, there's just something special about it. I think the coverage is a little bit more intense, which would make sense because it's thicker. I always hate it when they, and I know what they're trying to do, they're taking parabens and everything, but it seems like, like the same thing with the Rachel K with the original formula they took the parabens and like the talc out of it and that's that's what i liked that's why i like the original formula so i guess it just depends on your skin type and what you like if you like something that's real moisturizing and kind of thin then you might like this a lot better now i know there there's that other version that is oil free and i just i feel like i'm for certain i wouldn't like that because i don't want anything matte so today i have on the L'Oreal Infallible Semi Matte All Day or whatever. And yes, you can tell it is not matte. So I really like that one. I've got a bunch of them that I really like. So I'm really not, you know, searching for a foundation right now. Okay. And then yesterday, I told you guys that I had ordered another pair of sunglasses. Well, they came yesterday in the mail. And I had ordered them, I think, last week. And I was so excited. It was a pair of Ray-Ban Aviators. And I wanted a pair, and I still do. I want a pair of their, I saw them on, if I can get the picture, I'll put it at the end of this video, or I'll put it right here, of one of the Russian girls on Instagram. I think it's somebody that Sherry Curry follows that got, she got my attention to her. And they're just a pair of really light blue Ray-Ban aviators, and they're not mirrored. They're just really light blue and they're see-through. You can see your eyes through them. And I thought, gosh, they're so pretty. So I searched and searched. I thought I found them on this. It was like a contact site. And when I got them, I opened, up, opened them up and they were exactly like the ones I already have. The blue, exactly. So last night I was packing up some boxes to send my friend Nadine. And I had planned on just returning those. And so I texted her and I asked her, did she have a pair? And she said, the only aviator she had were some Chanel ones, so I sent them to her because I thought that would be something fun for her have for her to have. And if she doesn't like them, her daughter Carly will be able to use them. So I will be very happy though with my Tom Ford aviators that I got. It's not like I'm that disappointed, but you know I like having okay, so different this ones. This is the first pair, and I saw both of these on Amazon. I'm such a sucker when I go on Amazon because they, you know how they'll have stuff like suggested for you at the bottom. And they were running a shoe sale. I believe it was 20 extra percent off of their shoes. And so I saw the first pair and the color is just so cool. The color is what got me to get both of these shoes. So anyway, here's the first pair. Oh, and so not only were they 20% off of their um, price, John, he gets these award things at work. And what we do is we usually just cash them in and put them in our Amazon. And that way, the next time one of us wants to order something, we have credit in there. So I had some credit in there too. So I think I got both pair for $100 or something like that. But here are the first ones. And they are this style that I love. And I think everybody does. But this is a tricky style because there's just not much support. There's not much holding your foot on the sandal. And a lot of times there's not any support right here. And if the heel is too high, like I love 
the Stuart Weitzman Nudist. I love that sandal. I love the new one that has the fringe. But even if you look at um, the model Giselle, when she is wearing them, you'll see her toes look like they're hanging on, you know, just clenched, just trying to hold that shoe on. Because there's not, there's like hardly anything supporting your foot. So I'm always on the lookout for a good pair. And those Stuart Weitzman Nudist song, I've worn them, I think, three times now. And the first time I wore them, I thought, ooh, <laughs> they're not that much better. And then the second time I wore them, I, you know, I really felt like they were way more comfortable. And then the third time was a breeze. So I think I just had to get used to kind of walking in them and break them in a little bit. But they're still not all day shoes, but they're a good go out for two or three hour pair of shoes. So these I have not worn yet. And you guys know I am just crazy about lavender. And I thought this kind of dusty pair of lavender is kind of neutral. So, and this brand is Steven by Steve Madden. And they're usually a little bit more expensive and I think they're just a little bit um, more of a well-made shoe. And here's the style and lavender suede and I got a size eight and here it is, Amazon. Okay, so these were regular price $74.97 and then I got $15 off of that so really and then then balance due zero so that must have the credit must have come off of these so you can't beat that so I don't guess I'll send these back and I have tried them on and they look beautiful and gosh how pretty would they look with like se play date or um, what is the other one, the other lavender polish I love so much? Poker Face by Illa Masca. Any of those purple polishes would look so pretty. I think purple polish on toenails just looks really pretty. That's what I'm going to do next time I get my toenails painted. So it has a real thin strap, and I think because it's such a light lavender, I don't think it's going to cut your leg off like black ones can tend to do. What you want to do is just make sure you get a thin strap. If you get a thick strap, it's going to cut your legs off. But I think as long as you get a thin one, you'll be fine. And nude is the best, but I think, I think I'm going to really enjoy these. I have that lavender dress that I love. And I was thinking with a black dress or a nude or anything, I would love those. I love colored shoes anyway. So I wanted to show you those. And Bubba is staring at me. Let me go get him. He wants to go outside. That's why he was staring at me. Can you look at the camera? He's about to lose all this fur because he loses most of it in the summertime. And look at these feet. <laughs> but um, I'm going to let you say hello and I'm going to put him out. Okay, right I bought a little, when I was at TJ Maxx, I bought this little, it was in the pet section. It's a cushion, like a little pet bed cushion, pillow type thing. And it was on sale for like $6. And so I just grabbed it. I thought, you know, if I use it, because the cats stay in the garage at night. If I even use it in the garage or anywhere, you know, it'll be worth that. So I have put it, they all love to lay in front of the door and look out. And it's so cute. When we come home, we can see them all at the door. And they have loved that pillow. So I think I have some pictures I'll put at the end. But so that's over there. Okay, this, this pair. These are beautiful shoes. The color it's one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen on a pair of shoes. And they are Schutz, S-C-H-U-T-Z. And so they're a little bit more of an expensive brand. Let's see if I have the receipt for these too. And they come with a dust bag and everything. Huh, I don't have that. I don't know where I put that one. But these are the ones that I saw and I was just like, oh my gosh. And they are just is pretty or prettier in person they are called let's see i'll show them to you um rose red is the color uh brazilian and schutz is a brazilian brand anyway so is that okay brazilian rose red and i got the eight and um high heel sandal okay so i guess that's it i will try to find the links and put, i could not believe i found all those forever 21 links last night that was a miracle but anyway, I'll find the links. So, and they have the zipper at the back and I just thought, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Even if I can just wear them for a little while, they just remind me of a lipstick color or a flower. They're just such a beautiful color. So I'm gonna wear these today. I thought they would look good with some skinny jeans and uh, this is that little jacket that I got from Forever 21. So, so I'm gonna put I these on. on a, oh, that reminds me of one more thing I need to show you. I'll remember it in a minute. I have on a James Purse um, V-neck tee 
that I got from Oliver and I have on this Forever 21 jacket and look how good it fits. Look how much better it looks than the Banana Republic one. I can't remember, I mean, I just can't believe I got so lucky. And then these jeans are some that I've had for a couple years now. They are the uh, Hudson Krista Skinnies. And then my shoes. Okay, ready? Oh, I just think they're gorgeous. And they fit very true to size. And I think I'm gonna carry my new wing bag today. Just to, I know it doesn't match exactly, but I think it's close enough that I could get away with this. But don't even think you're gonna put these on in a hurry because they take a few minutes to get all the straps right and put so on. I, get, um, I think they're pretty. And so that's it for today. And then here is the other thing I got, I just got yesterday. I ordered one of these LNA white t-shirts and I have one similar to this, I think it's called the Desert Tee and with a little ripped collar like this. But Sheila was talking about wanting this one, and she said, well, I like the V-necks better. So I ordered us these. I got her the black and the white, and then I got the white. And oh, I can't remember what they're called. I will put the name, or I'll put the link down below, because I ordered them right off the LNA website. And so this one is a V-neck instead of the crew. And I just got the white because I've bought <laughs> all those like off-black t-shirts lately. And um, these just, like, even under what I have on today, it would have looked cute. It just adds a little bit of interest and just a little something just for another. They're just so easy to throw on. And I love LNA t-shirts. They're from California. And let's see. And that's, that's one of my new hangers. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. That's, I really love that. That's, a lot of my house has that shabby chic type look. Okay, and then for accessories, sorry, I've got a tickly hair right there. I have got on my Sheila Fajal Natalie collar necklace, and I have more of those on my website now. And a couple of you had messaged me and said that you were having a trouble, uh, there's somebody walking their dog, uh, wearing it. What you have to do when you first get it is kind of stretch it to where it to fit your neck. And when you first put it on, you're going to feel like, oh, like you feel it. But within three to five minutes, you will get used to it and you don't even feel it anymore. And then you can layer it with so many different things. And Sheila likes to do charms and stuff off of hers too. I kind of like the simpleness of this. So that's a Sheila Fajal Natalie collar. And I have them in different colors. And then this is that shark's tooth that Katie sent me. Oh, I just think it's so pretty. And I love that it's that light color. I have the, I have a couple of them. I have a turquoise one, and then I have a, that I got at Oliver, and then I have my one, like on my website, the Sheila Faja one, and I even thought about layering those two, but I wanted to keep it kind of monochromatic up here today. So thank you, Katie, again for that. And then my rings, I knew these two would look good together. So this is that one I got from Saks, Twee at Saks, and it is Elizabeth and James. And then this is the Sheila Fajal Jackie ring. I think I only have two left of those, but, and it's adjustable. And my nails, I could not decide what color. I wanted to do some kind of cool combo or something last night, but as usual, by the time we got through with dinner, homework, showers, and everything else, I really, I, had, I wanted to take a shower, I just didn't have time. So I put on the, which this, I really do like this. It's the Victoria, Beckham. It's the light one out of those two that she did. And um, that's just two coats. It's very, the first coat is, it's opaque, but it's still a little streaky. But the first, second coat just seals the deal. It just makes it perfect. So, and I know I've told you how much I love this Mophie case, but I have 100% battery life all day, every day now because of this. I love it. I don't see how I did without it. So I guess that's it. I have only an hour now before it's time to go get Will because they have half a day, which that's good. I'm, I always love picking him up. And um, I'm going to go, I got my geranium hanging baskets on my front porch, which just warm my heart. I love my geraniums. That's what I do every year. And I want to go get a new flag. I like to put a new flag out and um, I usually get a new wreath and I want to go check there real quick before they, I went Monday, but they always get so sold out over the weekends. 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.